option E papers are or questions are questions that I really like doing. So let's look at this one. State the type of receptor cells that detect sound. Easy. You need to know that they're mechanoreceptors. And uh, something which is a little less easy is to know the other types of receptors which are available. And these are chemoreceptors, which de detect chemical uh, chemicals, baroreceptors, which detect changes in pressure, and nociceptors are another example which detect pain. Now, the second question. State an example of these receptors in humans. Now, mechanoreceptors are found in the human cochlea because the cochlea is what detects sound in the human ear. Once again, relatively straightforward, just for one mark. Now we get on to the somewhat harder questions. Firstly, outline the role of inheritance and learning in the development of birdsong in young birds. It's a bit of a lame question, but the two points correspond to half of those points being allocated for talking about inheritance, the other half were talking about learning. So inheritance. Young birds inherit a basic birdsong, which is independent of experience. They are born with it and can uh, use that basic birdsong without any learning at all. What they cannot do, though, is... Uh, or what they can do, rather, is that they can learn off other adult birds um, to form a more complex bird song. It's what, so in this case, it builds upon their basic bird song which they have inherited. So it's a combination of inheritance and learning. And it's really interesting because um, some humans are like this as well. Inherently, or they inherit uh, quite a, a, a high um, intelligence or IQ, but they need to learn as well afterwards. Now, before I get sidetracked, let's talk about the uh, effects of cocaine in terms of um, action at synapses in the brain. And what I'm drawing here, which you can do in the exam as well, is to draw the presynaptic pre knob with the um, uh, as well as the postsynaptic membrane and also the the cocaine there. And what the cocaine does is that it binds to um, receptors on the presynaptic membrane. Now, if you remember. Um, the acetylcholine, or the dopamine in this particular case, is reuptaken into the presynaptic membrane, and this um, causes a dissipation of the action potential. Um, what cocaine does is that it blocks this particular process. So let's first talk about it. I've mentioned that cocaine is a stimulant drug, and then when it's in the synapse, it binds to the dopamine receptors on the presynaptic membrane. That's what those little dots are on the top left-hand corner. This prevents the reuptake of dopamine, so that dopamine stays within the action or within the synapse. And this activates a postsynaptic membrane so that you have lots of um, action potential going. You have too much than normal. So that's where there's a buildup of dopamine in the synapse, which means more action potential, more, uh, more action potential, and more stimulus. So that's why lots of cocaine takers feel euphoric, they feel very excited. And this causes the final stimulation effect. So this is how I went about it.